listen to this and, and we'll talk. Word of advice for these men. Stop. Stop hurting these women because you don't know who you're dealing with. Are there secret witches out there? Like mm. a man could be dating this woman or dealing with a woman and it's possible that he may not know that she practices. Did any of the guys that you knew knew that you practiced witchcraft? No. And, the, and that's the thing. It is so easy to date a witch, especially with online dating and a lot of people be doing, you know, meeting up. That person it probably have a whole altar, which I had. Going out on dates, don't know really what this person's really about, especially when they were, especially rings and crystals, that's already a first symbol um, of any kind of witch. Certain crystals that you'll wear, soul's protection always, uh, open up your third eye with that person so mm -hmm. you can see what you're about to encounter, what type of energy you're about to go into. All right, so could you possibly be dating a witch? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I already was thinking the dating pool had pee in it, but now you <laughs> now you talking about you might be dating a witch or something like that, man. You got you, it just shows, man. You got to be spirit led on everything. And it's, yeah. I know sometimes, man. To some people, it can sound like you over spiritualizing things, or you're just trying to be too deep. But when you hear something like this, so it's you real. might actually be no. There are real witches, yeah. and you might be dating one. <laughs> this, this woman is, had a, you could be friends with one too. Actually, yeah, real. This woman had a whole altar at the crib. Y'all going out to eat? You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. chilling? You had no idea when she get home. She doing rituals and seances and all this kind of yeah. stuff. You wondering why your life just start unraveling? Like mm -hmm. you really got to be praying and praying, and yeah. be led, man. I think um, and some folks still subscribe to this method. A lot of people, they just date plenty of people and then whichever one sticks out the most, that's the one they kind of go with. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I don't know, me personally, I just feel like, man, you really got to pray about this stuff. If you know, understand the calling that God has on your life, or if you don't understand it, you're trying to understand, if you're trying to get direction, you're trying to hear from God clearly, yeah. you got to avoid different distractions. You got to avoid different things that are not beneficial in your life because when you're just out here just going to and fro, you can run into a situation like yeah. this mm -hmm. and now you got a whole, you know what I'm saying, she doing seam, seam, salad beam at the crib and you don't even know what's going on. Like, So now, you just, just pray. Now, real talk, her story is very powerful. She was talking about how she would do love spells. She would do spells on dudes and like bring them back to me and the dude would come back. And, mm -hmm. and then, But he would never choose her though. He would never choose her, but she would get she would control him, and that's what honestly what witchcraft is it's a control. It's mm -hmm. very about control. Um, I do think um, she. Um, I think I think he gave she gave y'all the warning signs. You know what I'm saying? She gave y'all the warning signs about what to look out for, and even and 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 here's another thing: we got to flip it because there's some warlocks out there too. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, there's some warlocks, Old dude. Wizard. Dude, Yo. dude, dude who at the house, he got an altar too. So Yo. guard your heart, ladies, single ladies, single Christian Imagine ladies. Imagine you dating a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I give everybody to the Lord. I'd be like, Lord, he didn't talk to me. What do you think? Because because Lord have mercy. That's yeah. why the Bible says test every spirit. Yeah. You might be dating Gandor. Don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy, wild. Wow. That's wild. But that's why you literally have to pay attention. You can't be swept off of your feet because what you see or distracted by lust. You got to listen yeah, to what these real. people saying. That's real. You got to look. Like she said, okay, you got crystals on. No. You got this going on. No, you got to listen. You got to really talk to people because yeah. yeah. they give they self away. They do. Yeah, but but then also too, uh, I think the thing, the thing too is like even like going into churches where we you saying like early in the book about mm -hmm. the book that you was reading and like mm -hmm. there's there's which is that their their whole assignment is to destroy that church they're going to mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. cast a spell on that church I talk see. about that church or whatever and they do it. But I think the thing is, um, but also I have heard this from reform riches that who are now saved that say we try to put spells on people but if they were really legitimately Christians we mm -hmm. could not yeah, I've heard that period. too period it could mm -hmm. not happen so walk with the power of God man and yeah. you gotta live the life that you're talking about like you said for real for real yeah.